excuse the hair i'm freshly post showered i just thought i'd pop in and do a quick what's in my makeup bag and all of this is in this tiny little bag and this is all of the makeup that i own so for me this is for for me this is enough for a full face when i feel like putting on a full face but for the most part i typically just use one or two of these products at a time okay first up we have this let me give it a good shake so we don't see the separation in it this one is the morphe 2 this one's the morphe 2 hint hint skin tint and this is in the shade hint of almond and i really like this because four drops covers your whole face and it has enough coverage to cover up any dark spots that you might have from previous pimples but it's also really light so it doesn't feel like anything on the face so that's the first item and i actually think that's my only full-sized item in here because i typically only buy minis because i've never in my life finished a full-sized makeup product actually i never i've never in my life finished even a mini i've never in my life even hit pan so it just makes more sense for me to get mini because it's less wasteful. Okay, next up we have this DHC Velvet Skin Coat. And this is actually just a sample. I don't typically buy primers. This one, this one feels exactly like velvet, so it's not tacky at all. So if your typical makeup routine needs a tacky primer, I wouldn't get that one. But if you want one that makes your skin feel smooth, then that's the one to go with. Okay, next up, I have this Milk Blush, and this one is in the shade Quirk, and it's just this nice muted pinkish blush. Okay, next up, we have this mascara. This one's, this one's Benefits They're Real, just the mini. And then I also have this Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. Funny story, the first time I actually bought this concealer, I got it in a shade that was way too light for me. So then I gave it to my roommate, who's more fair-skinned than I am, and she ended up really liking it. But this one, I have it in the shade 335H, which is in medium honey. This is the only contour bronzer stick that I have. This one is Fenty's Espresso Stick. And this is the shade that's in. It's way too dark for me. It is way too dark for me, but I make it work anyway just by using a little bit at a time and a lot of blending. A lot of blending. The reason why I got this one and I didn't get a shade that's more suitable for my skin tone is because for the minis, the only options that I had were this one or one that was more ashy. And the other one just, it wouldn't do anything for my skin. It's it's more pale than I am, so I had to go with this one for a mini. Oh, I also have this, okay, it's in a Ziploc because it's used, but I have this mini little Real Techniques one. It's just a mini, and then you can just wet it to make it bigger. And then I also have this Estee Lauder Brow Now, also in the mini size. This one's okay. I don't really know much about brow gels. I typically just use a brow pencil, but that one's okay. And this one is my trusty little Revlon eyelash curler. I've had this one since middle school, so over 10 years now. It still works pretty well. I don't know, I feel like all eyelash curlers are the same. And then I also have this Benefit High Beam, and this is in... I don't even think it has a shade but I have in like a pink champagne-y color. And then I also have this, I have this Lancome Booster XL, which is supposed to be a mascara base. It literally appears white, so you 100% have to put mascara over it or else it looks like you were just hanging out in the snow in the winter. And then for a setting spray, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is the only setting spray that I found in a mini. Everything else is a full-size setting spray. The only eyeshadow palette that I have is this Fenty Beauty one. And this one, it's, it's eyeshadow palette number one. I think they have up to six. And these are the shades in it. It's a really nice neutral palette. And I also like how there's like a slight pinkish shade in there too. 
I'll do a few swatches just for funsies. Side note, I think that this is also in its full size, but it's still pretty small. I did a few swatches for you and this is essentially a full face for me minus the eyeshadow. So over here, I have the Milk Blush in Quirk. And then this is the 35H Medium Honey Concealer. And then the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in Espresso. And this is the Benefit High Beam. Here, let me try to blend it out a little bit. Okay, so when they're all blended out, this is how they look. Again, we have the Benefit High Beam right there on my knuckles. And then we have the Milk Makeup Quirk 35H for Tarte's Ultra Creamy Concealer. And then the Espresso for Fenty. <laughs> I actually can't stop staring at my hand right now. This is so pretty. Okay, well, anyway, that's all of my makeup. Bye!